Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Strategic Command American Civil War. Welcome back to our conquest of Mexico versus Old Crow Balthazar, our joint uh, YouTuber multiplayer project. Um, here we are with the 42nd turn and it should be the end of August 48. So yeah, we are absolutely in the yeah, climax or the final turns of this very scenario and things are very very tense last turn we saw a surprise in the Mexi mexican retreat in the very surroundings of mexico city and we start to close in from three sides with three armies basically however there's tons of mexican troops and mountains still in our way to the city so uh, it's gonna be very tough to take it but the hope is back after some setbacks before so yeah i'm quite excited to see what the enemy did this time and i hope so you are uh, you and um, now let's watch the replay together oh this oh nice ambush excellent we wanted to achieve that when uh, try to block the street at least a little bit we couldn't prevent the enemy force force marching down everything but still nice defensive fire And a further retreat. Oh, this looks... yeah. So in the enemy turn we just saw positive events for us. As Apart from the enemy marching south, which is of course not really helpful. Uh, nothing super special over here. We September 1st, by the way. <laughs> um... Press cuts to Congress of Mexico. Before we get to any further details, of course, as always, I'm going to read Prescott to you. So this time page 405. It may appear extraordinary that the new Aztec leader, Guatemocin, should have been able to provide for the maintenance of the crowded population now gathered in the metropolis, especially as the avenues were all in the possession of the besieging army. But, independently of the preparations made with this view before the siege and the loathsum sustenance daily furnished by the victims for sacrifice, supplies were constantly obtained from the surrounding country across the lake. This was so conducted for a time as in a great measure to escape observation. And even when the, uh, when the brigantines were commanded to cruise day and night and sweep the waters of the boats employed in the service, many still contrived under cover of the darkness to elude this, the vigilance of the cruisers and brought their cargoes into port. It was not till the great towns and neighborhood cast of their allegiance that the supply began to fall from the failure of its sources. The defection was more frequent as the inhabitants became convinced that the government, incompetent to its own defense, must be still more to theirs. And uh, to theirs. And the Aztec metropolis saw its great bustles fall off one after another, as the tree over which decay is stealing parts with its leaves as the first blast of the tempest. The cities, which now claimed the Spanish general's protection, supplied the camp with an incredible number of warriors, a number which, if we admit Cortés' own estimate, 150,000 could have only served to embarrass his operations on the long-extended causeways. These levies were distributed among the three garrisons at the terminations of the causeways, and many found active employment in foraging the country for provisions, and yet more in carrying on hostilities against the places still unfriendly to the Spaniards. And there we go, here's our native support. <laughs> I wish I could... Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is gonna be a long march. Uh, we don't even control the Navajo, it's even, even worse. Oh, yeah. I mean, we bought them as a joke, to be honest, or like as a security measure. In the end, yeah, we, we they will not arrive in town anywhere close. It is fine. And yeah. So much about this, we can start off actually then in in Chihuahua, which I haven't moved recently at all. And there, because there was also really no reason, but... Uh, before we fully waste them, let's take hexes. <laughs> um, yeah, we will go back. I don't know if we... Yeah, here's, there's absolutely nothing of value. Yeah, same down here. Kearney is kind of stuck. Yeah, they will remain here for the rest of the campaign. Um, since we see the Pacific already, I'll send them raiding. Yeah, the three of them, perfect. These guys have to force march, that was the intention over here, yep. In case, so if they want to achieve anything. 
didn't check the supply to be honest. Yeah, if we are lucky, we can uh, reach Zacatecas. Um, maybe even the mines here. Yeah, well, it will not affect the enemy for very long, but it is what it is. Okay, Pinos, no special events at all. I kind of assume actually that the enemy withdrew everything he had towards Mexico City, so... Uh, yeah, that's why I dare to get in close to here. Also, I think we also saw how nicely it worked in terms of uh, our potential... How nicely our um, ambush here worked for the passing unit. This was nice. But let's see. Oh, come on. I mean, we can surround them. That's smooth. So I think this... Oh my god, yeah, it wasn't really wise what I did over here, but in the end, I feel like this brigade should be out of supply next turn here in the mountains. So, yeah, I think we are fine over here. What is the task of these units over here? That's the main question. Um, Hela will further move down here to Huichi, Huichi Japan. Um, these cavalrists. In the end, like blocking off the enemy, moving more units further south. That's the main task. So let's take this crossroad, also get the reconnaissance. And we might be able to get somewhere here in the back as well. I mean, the enemy really puts everything towards um, Mexico City now. I think these guys, yeah, the supply is pretty terrible over here, so... But I want to use the movement to get some reconnaissance over here and then I'll go back, yep. Command, uh, probably out of command range, that's that. Actually, I'm gonna keep them here. Since they provide us nice reconnaissance, indeed. Here with these guys, I'm gonna reconsider depending on if we want to reinforce if we'll, or if we'll need them. Alright, then coming here to Scott and his yeah, following up these boys. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that the field artillery is here in the first spot. We definitely I want to take Texoku take here for the supply and for the reconnaissance. I'm going to definitely go here. Oh, it's just, as you see, it's they are quite stuffed here. Kafir, I'm gonna use to get in their back. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> this really looks like a pitched battle. It absolutely does. Question is just how we're gonna do it, where our prior priorities lie. Do we have a regiment incoming still? Nope. Okay. Still end of September, I think. Our new brigades are coming, yeah, but they will not arrive in time. Izukar here would be interesting in terms once again of supply, but I'm not sure if it's worth uh, what we've got uh, if we blow over here, so actually not necessarily. Well, 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 let's have a look here to be honest how we're gonna what we can do about these uh, the artillery over here. This is so odd that I was expecting to be honest artillery to be way more vulnerable to um to attacks by infantry than just being so strong i'm 
Maybe I'm gonna keep the cap actually here in position so they... They might uh, provoke the attack and therefore defensive fire. I mean, we can't really... I can only leave it. That's the other option. Oh gosh, here we only have... Basically, we've got just these two. The brigade and the marines over here. We need to attack from here, I assume. I'm a little bit uh, scared of counterattacks over here. But we need to take this position, yeah. Now what I'm gonna take is Oka just to get, have it, just to be safe. And over here... Either here to reinforce the northern flank, or here to protect Gaines and his, his boys a bit more. I think here to... Really Put some relief here to the Scott troops, and then I'm definitely gonna reinforce. Yeah, doesn't really look like I can achieve something great this turn. Boah, I don't know. In, in general, I'm a little bit afraid. I don't know how to of how we're gonna punch through here with these attack values since the enemy's uh, HQ seem to have an unbelievably high experience. Despite I mean Scott here. With two pips and level 10 should be quite strong, but I'm not willing to attack like this on the artillery position. It got two shells, that probably makes it also so so brutal. Um, yeah. No, I rather have my prepared position now. I mean, it also makes us vulnerable towards enemy counterattacks, of course, but yeah, at least we've got to bite in some kind of bitter apple. And I definitely can't afford to like run down as our troops still on like yeah these kind of attacks. So I have to reinforce this to these boys. Let's attack so maybe they run into some kind of ambush or not. Not that relevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you mean Scott saved his reputation? You mean his uh, double S? The S? I don't know. <laughs> Did he? I think only the seizure of, of Mexico City would like, bring him the glory he deserves. But it's gonna be hard. I mean, what I'm happy about is our... Uh, it didn't work to its fullest, but we at least we managed to cut off some of the troops. I mean, it takes our troops as well. That's of course the disadvantage. How is the fighting spirit looking like? 58%, 66. Yeah, we're at least better in here and we can take some more over here. I don't know how quickly this affects the fighting spirit, but we are a little bit late. So we've got just a couple of turns left. Three, four. I still didn't have them checked. I'm so sorry. I keep on uh, promising you guys to check how many turns are there. But I haven't yet. And I... Phew, this is three hexes like there needs to be and we have just our couple of units to attack and stuffed with Mexicans. And there will be more incoming so I kind of... I don't see it happening to be honest however this looks... It looks at least great how we close in and that we take over huge chunks in the north. And still it will be only a minor victory if we can't manage to... Yeah, get the city itself. It is what it is. And I think so. I'm really refraining from any attacks this this turn. I'd rather give them the rest. Uh, it is what it is. We have 500 MPP. Super. As you see, nothing can be done with those. While the enemy can probably just like punch out everything he can bring in here. That's. Uh, 
Well, I might have wasted too much time somewhere else or allowed too many Mexican troops to come down here. I don't know. There might be still some options to do it better for sure. However, there's still like when I'm, as always, when I started to, I start to think about this scenario a little bit. And it makes sense that the Americans cannot bring in troops easily down here. That makes a lot of sense. However, I'm not very happy with the limit, let's say, with the build limit, because now it's a little bit odd. I can't really use my reinforcements or my industrial strength to keep on going, and everything else would be too late. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this. I might think differently from the other side or from the other perspective. So I'm interested to see how people think about it and uh, to discuss with Old Crow, and also by Nibblechomp, who's uh, the designer. Um, yeah, he's always commenting here, so I, I kind of expect again <laughs> some feedback. Uh, thank you so much for that, by the way. And yeah, it's still a great scenario, so I'm, I'm excited to have talk about it and improvements or like get different perspectives. So let's finish together this turn. Yeah, yellow fever doesn't really hurt us at all. We co happily collect more, and that seems to be it. Yeah. So let me know what you think. It's yeah. I, I lost hope a little bit again, or I got realistic. Let's say. Let me know what you think. Uh, where, what would if you'd been doing differently, or like would you have followed my ideas so so far on? I'm quite. Um, let's let's talk it out, discuss it. And apart from this, of course, if you haven't yet, it would be fantastic if we leave both me and um, Old Crow Balthazar are like in subscription to push our project and our channel so thank you very much for this and uh, most importantly see you next time in the next episode by your strategy wolf